Warlocks! Ever since Art 3.0 launched with Season of Plunder, there's been a buzz in the air about all the new toys Warlocks have. And I gotta admit, you do have some pretty cool Art Special Exotics. But if we could take something like Vesper of Radiance and make it work so well with Stasis, like we did in our Ice and Thunder build, couldn't we also make some older exotics work with the Arc 3.0 sandbox? And I came up with a fun one. We don't even have to go back very far in our vault to find this one. With this build, we get infinite ability uptime, solar healing wells, font of might, and radiance? Yes! In this build, you will become the Radiant Surge. And hey, if you like what you see, why not hit the like button? Let's get into it. So first things first, we gotta talk about the exotic armor piece that we'll be using in this build. And you may have guessed it by now, it's the Reign of Fire, which has the exotic perk, Soaring Fusilier. Air dodges reload all your weapons and improves the airborne effectiveness of fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles. And final blows with these weapons make you radiant? What? Now we won't be doing any air dodging, but we don't have to. The main takeaway is that we basically get free radiance. That's just a free 25% damage buff just for shooting our gun. And we're combining that with the shiny new fusion rifle that just came to us in Season of Plunder, the Delicate Tomb. This bad boy is like the Swiss Army knife of fusion rifles. I truly believe it's one of the best in the game. And as the Radiant Surge, you basically get to use this like a primary, but only if primaries hit like a Mack truck. Let's talk about it. The exotic perk for Delicate Tomb, Trader's Vessel, states it fires a wide horizontal spread when shot from the hip. Final blows with the weapon have a chance to generate ionic traces, and powerful foes and opposing guardians always generate ionic traces. Long story short, when you fire this thing from the hip, you do more damage and you hit more stuff, but it also has the exotic perk Tempest Cascade, where collecting an ionic trace overcharges this weapon's next shot, jolting targets on hit, and the catalyst refunds the magazine on kills. What can't this weapon do? So basically, when you spawn an ionic trace, we're charged up with a supercharged jolt shot, and if you don't know about jolt, it basically deletes entire waves of enemies and is easily the highlight of Arc 3.0. With our setup of aspects and fragments, it's not if we spawn an ionic traits, it's when. For aspects, we have electrostatic mind. Defeating targets with arc abilities or defeating jolted or blinded targets creates an ionic trace. Collecting an ionic trace makes you amplify. This aspect basically makes it so that every kill we get makes us amplified and spawns an ionic trace. And the way we play it, you'll have unlimited ability uptime. Next, we have Arc Soul. Cast your rift to create an arc soul that fires at targets in front of you. Allies can pass through your rift and they get an arc soul. Your rift charges faster when allies are near and while amplified, your arc souls are supercharged and gain increased fire rate. Now this arc soul, it says supercharged, but they really undersell it. This arc soul is super aggressive and super powerful. We actually have to compete against it to get weapon kills because it's just that good. Our little arc buddy is like a one man wrecking crew. I'm serious, this is a no brainer. Plus, with Healing Rift, we get our health back whenever we need it. But of course, what are aspects without fragments? So the first one we gotta talk about is Spark of Shock. Your arc grenades jolt targets. Now you do lose 10 discipline, but that's a good trade-off because this is a surefire, easy, can't miss way to jolt anything in front of us. I run this on pretty much every arc build. Instant jolt, instant amplified. You gotta put this on. Next, we have Spark of Beacons. While you're amplified, your arc special weapon final blows create a blinding explosion. Hey, remember when I said every kill we get is gonna spawn ionic traces? This is a big reason why. Delicate Tomb is a special weapon. So if we're amplified, every time we get a kill with it, we're sending another jolting shockwave out to enemies and we're blinding everything around it, which chains together with Electrostatic Mind. Because when we kill blinded targets, we get more ionic traces and extend our amplified timer and allows us to keep the cycle going. We have Spark of Ions. Defeating jolted targets creates ionic traces. <laughs> It's just getting silly at this point, isn't it, Warlocks? Spark of Discharge. Arc weapon final blows have a chance to create ionic traces. We have fully committed to collecting ionic traces and it's glorious, but wait, it gets better. Our mods add a font of might, weapon buff, well of life, healing, and also feeds our abilities even further. For mods, we have elemental ordinance. No brainer. 
Grenade kills equals the easiest mod you'll ever get, especially with Spark of Shock kicking up the damage on our grenades to the next level. We have elemental armaments. This is just a nice to have. Our matching elemental weapons have a chance to spawn additional elemental wells for us. And that's always nice. But of course, we're pairing these with Font of Might. This is a 25% damage buff to our arc weapons when we pick up a well. How can we not run this? This stacks with being radiant. And now this is where it gets fun. We have Explosive Wellmaker. Explosive Wellmaker basically procs off of splash damage. So basically any grenade or explosive kill has a chance to drop a solar well when we put this on. So we're actually running arc bolt grenades in order to take advantage of this. Arc bolt is going to seek and tag multiple enemies and it usually gets the kill. And if we get two or more kills with it, which most of the time we will, we're going to get our solar well. And the cherry on top is well of life. In addition to all the carnage, we have a consistent source of passive healing that is one of the best in the game. And now our build is complete. We see a group of enemies. We toss out our arc bolt grenade. We jolt them. We fry them. Boom! We just spawned an arc well and a solar well. Now we have Font of Might, and now BAM! We zap an enemy with Delicate Doom. And because we just collected an Ionic Trace from before, we're now amplified, which means that that kill blinded everything around it. And we're not done. Rain of Fire makes us radiant because we just got a kill with the Fusion Rifle. Maybe we're feeling a little spicy and we throw down a rift just for the heck of it. And now our Arc Buddy has just joined the fray. It's getting kills, which is sending us more Ionic Traces, and it's making our Radiant, Delicate Tomb jolt enemies in addition to blinding explosions. I mean, you're racking up Massacre Medals in Gambit. You're clearing entire rooms in Catch Crash, and you're healing the whole time through your Healing Rift and Well of Life healing. And if you need even more juice, you swap to your Linear Fusion with all your buffs and just go ahead and melt whatever boss is in front of you. We're able to spam our special because we have Fusion Finders, Scavs, and Reserves on, and we have Special Finisher, which gives us a generous clip of ammo right back simply for finishing an enemy. And we get to keep firing our Fusion Rifle because the Catalyst refills our mag whenever we get a kill. We never have to reload this thing. Warlocks, you gotta try this. Harness the power of fire and thunder to become the Radiant Surge. But that's it for me. That's it for the video. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, peace out.